Welcome to my music shop You can find many things You can play piano Oh, you like in my music shop Yes, you can Hey, sorry, I couldn't see you. Yeah, these glasses, they look really cool, but they're actually quite dark, so I can't really see much out of them. Yeah. Let me just take these off, and take this hat off, and take this guitar off, and I can help you today. Okay. I've got a bit of hat hair, that looks okay. Okay, so welcome to the music store. Is this your first time? Okay, nice. So just to give you a quick introduction, we sell electric guitars, acoustic guitars, keyboards, headphones, and accessories, yeah. So what kind of thing are you looking for? Electric guitar, okay, nice. And you've been playing for two months. Okay, do you know any chords yet? So you know G, C, D, E minor, A minor, okay. And you're learning F, yeah. I mean, it's a bar chord, so. It'll take a bit longer to learn that one. Okay, nice. What kind of influences do you have? Okay, Clapton, nice. Dire Straits, Rolling Stones, yeah, cool. Beatles, I think everyone loves the Beatles. <laughs> okay, so like a very classic kind of, yeah, okay. And you want an electric or acoustic? Electric, nice, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'd recommend electric to most people who are just starting out because the, the strings are much thinner. And I mean, me personally, I started on an acoustic and it took me maybe six to 12 months to to get, um, to build like a resistance on my fingers for the because the strings are so thick and to learn the chords and change between them it takes a lot of time. You'll get there, no worries. Okay, so I've got a black Fender Stratocaster. Do you want to see that? Okay, so just to let you know, this one's based on David Gilmore's uh, custom Strat. Yeah, Pink Floyd, yeah, yeah. So, so is it, it's slightly customized. Uh, what, what's your budget? Okay. That should be fine, okay. So just two minutes, I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So, this is the Fender Stratocaster. It's one of my favorite guitars. Um, this one is made in Mexico, if you can see that. It's a custom, custom body, so a company called Custom Shop, they kind of modify guitars. Um, you've got your standard kind of volume, volume, tone, knobs there. Yeah, you can see that. So volume, tone, two-tone, two-tone, like a car. <laughs> and you've got your pickup kind of selector here, this side. So you've seen this before, yeah? Okay. So it goes, it just kind of goes between the different pickups. So you've got you know, the neck pickup and you've got the, the bridge. So depending where you have that switch, you get like a different sound. 
Ja. Um, so this one's got locking tunings as well. What that means is you got you say so got six locking tuners for each string. So this means um, it's going to stay in tune a lot more because you know most guitars without locking tuners they go out of tune quite quickly. This one, it, you have to play it for quite. I mean, I think it stays in tune for maybe a month or two. It's pretty good. So you've got you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Yeah. So what? And then yeah, so you've got the the whammy bar as well. So you can whammy out some cool solos. Um, so what makes this a custom guitar? This is toggle switch here. You can see that. Yeah. Okay. So what that toggle switch does, which other guitars don't have, it, it combines two pickups at the same time. So you've got the, the neck pickup and the bridge pickup. So when you, when you turn that on, it's using both pickups, which gives it kind of a much fuller sound. It's, be it's better for solos. Yeah. I mean, you know David Gilmour, his amazing solos. Yeah. Okay, so that's the black Stratocaster. Just to show you the, the neck here as well, it's got like a nice finish to the back. Yeah, I'd recommend kind of changing the strings, you know, kind of maybe once a month. I mean, depending where you live and how like humid it is, how sweaty your hands get when you're playing. You know, you, you build up a bit of kind of um, rust and dirt on these strings, so maybe just ch change them every month or so, I'd say. Yeah. And that'll give it like a nice, um, in a new sound. Makes it sound, makes it sound much nicer. Yeah, okay. So if you're interested, yeah. I mean, it's a lovely guitar. Um, I'm going to show you a few more things as well in the shop we have. Okay, cool. Just two minutes. Okay, I think you know what this is. <laughs> yeah, keyboard. So this is uh, M Audio. It's a key station 49, 49 key. Yeah. Um, it, so it lets you kind of control sounds in your computer. So there's no there's no sounds in this in this keyboard, but um, it sends data to your computer, and you can trigger like drums, bass guitar, strings, um, electric and acoustic piano, you know, any any kind of sound synth as well. Synths are really good. So any kind of sounds your computer has, you can trigger it with this key station. So if I'm if I'm composing at home, I'll play the drums. So you've got kick and snare here. It's like boom, boom, cha, boom, 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 cha, boom, boom, cha, boom, 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 cha. Yeah. Got hi hats here. Crash. This is this is like a standard kind of layout of a drum kit on a keyboard. Sometimes it changes, but generally it's the same. Yeah. Um, you can play. Bass guitar in here as well. Now you can do any any bass lines you can think of. Um, you can do strings. Strings are really cool. And you can do you know, synth lines. You want to do like you no know, wacky kind of synth solos. Yeah. Another cool thing about this um, keyboard, you've got these buttons here. So this actually lets you control your recording software. 
So you, you can you can stop, you can play, um, you can record, you can transpose. So like transposing's um, you can transpose a note like down, so from there to there, or you can transpose a note in an octave, which is say if this is C, this would go down to here, which is a lower C, so it's an octave down. So you've got all kind of quick access buttons to make the production faster. And you've got volume here as well. Yeah. So it's kind of it's really handy just to have a cost effective kind of small keyboard just to for song ideas. Um you don't have to be great at piano to to kind of create songs, you just, as, long, as long as you know, you know a few chords, you can put some ideas together. We've also got pitch here, and modulation. So pitch will, it will change the pitch of the note. If you're, if you're playing like a, say you're playing a C here, and you, you pitch it kind of down, it will move down to a lower note or a higher note, depending if you move that down or up. Yeah? So yeah. you're interested? Yeah? I mean, it's, it's well worth having. Most home studios have this. Um, it's not very expensive. Yeah, okay, I'll just put it to one side. Okay, so you've got your guitar, you've got your keyboard, you're going to need a microphone. Yeah, I mean, every home studio needs a microphone, right? And you sing as well, okay, perfect. So I mean, if, even if you're not singing, just recording, you know, maybe you record some percussion sounds, or just even like song ideas, like vocal ideas, yeah. So this is the Rode NT1A. Um, it's made in Australia. If you can... Yeah, the quality is really good. I mean, some, some microphones are very, they're built quite cheaply. And in terms of kind of the material and then the sound as well, the sound doesn't sound so good. For me, this one sounds really, really good. And it's it takes kind of mixing very well, so you can use EQ. Yeah. Um, I think um, you know the build quality is really good in this. So for for a budget, you get build quality, and you get really good sound performance as well. And it's also one of the quietest microphones you can buy. So if you're in a noisy environment, this this is going to perform really well. And it's just it's XR XLR. Do you know XLR? Yes, yeah, it's, it's the three pin cable. Yeah. So that powers um your microphone. And this is condenser. So that'll that'll it hasn't got any other polar patterns at the back, but it'll pick up kind of anything that's in front of the microphone. It's gonna pick up. So if you kind of like maybe six inches from the microphone. Yeah, you can see the diaphragm inside probably. So just a, yeah, really over, overall good mic. Yeah, you'll take it. Okay, perfect. Um, so what else is your studio gonna need? Okay, let me let me find some more things. Just one minute. Okay. You're gonna need headphones, right? Yeah, you don't want to upset the neighbors, do you? So, these are Bayer Dynamic DT770 Pro. Okay, really, really comfortable. 
Um, they sound sound phenomenal. Sound really good. But for me, like you know, I can spend sometimes eight hours mixing a day, and you want you don't want plastic around your ears, you know. You want something comfortable. Um, so I'd highly recommend these ones. So you've got kind of the fabric on the side. Yeah. So that's going to give you like comfort over a, a long time. If you're, if you're mixing your songs, like for a, a day or two, you, re you really don't want the like, plastic over ear headphones. You want kind of, I'd say like fabric, something comfortable, you know. And um, like frequency response on these are really good. So you can you can hear the lows, you can hear the highs. Um, again, you've got padding on the top as well. Yeah. Um, these are, these are made in Germany, I think. So again, like build quality is really good. Normally very reliable as well. So. Some you know some headphones you buy and they they break after some time. Yeah. And you've got kind of the long, long cable, long stretchy cable. So you know, you're not having any problems kind of playing your guitar, and being away from the the, the computer because you've got this. Long cable. It's really handy. Yeah. It's just like, it's just like a coil cable, so it, it stretches. And you got buttons on the top. So you can you can also kind of um, remove the. The pads on the on the sides. So say say you use them for a year and you want to just change them for hygiene reasons. You can get them on Amazon. I think they're easy to get. Yep. I mean, perfect for home studios. Within budget, they sound great. Good build quality. So, what do you think? Yeah, sold. Perfect. Okay, um, I think I'll show you accessories next. Yeah, cool. Okay, it's one minute. Okay. Don't know if you play any percussion at all. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I personally try and record live instruments on top because digital recording can sound quite robotic. You know, when you when you quantize it and you make it exactly in time, you want to add something on top of it to to kind of give it a bit of life, right? So small things like this, like you know, drums, triangles. Helps bring your music alive. Okay, you can obviously hold it as well if you want to. So we have lots of these, like kind of little, you know. Accessories, if you're interested. Yeah, okay. Let's put that to one side, and then I've got a few more things to show you. Okay. Okay. If you're playing electric guitar, you're going to need a jack cable. Okay. 
So these are, I mean, you, you probably have a few jack cables already, but these are high quality, you know, construction, wiring. I should last a bit longer, I think, the most regular. You can, buy, you can buy cheap cables, and then if you invest a bit more money into these, they'll really get sound, better sound quality for a start. Um, they're not going to break after like a few months. Some some of them are so cheap they just break so quickly. Yeah, you've also the nice thing about these these ones is you've got kind of a material that goes around them that protects the the cabling. So they they can't really get damaged. Actually, they're they're really good. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you can need plectrums for your guitar as well, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Let me just find those. Okay. Now I know you've probably got some plectrums at home already, but we sell like a package. So in this case, you can buy different size plectrums. Um, so some people prefer light gauge, medium gauge, heavy gauge. Um, it depends kind of what style of music you're playing, you know, if it's metal or pop. Um, if you're playing electric guitar or acoustic, you want a selection of, of plectrums, right? So, I mean, another good thing about this is if you lose one, you've got loads spare. I know personally, I, I put them on, put them on the de like desk and they disappear straight away or they end up down the couch. Yeah. They're always getting lost. Okay, so this is not too expensive. It gives you a lot of options. Um, it's all good. Always good to have spares of plectrums. Yeah, you'll take it. Perfect. Okay, so let's gather everything up, and then we'll do checkout, and you can be on your way. Cool. Okay. Okay. So we've got the electric guitar. We've got the keyboard, the microphone, and um, the jack cables, and the guitar plectrums. Right. Yeah. That's everything you need for your home studio. It's gonna sound really cool. Um, you've got you know, everything's packed in the bags, ready for you to collect. Um, it's all covered with a one-year warranty. I've uh, given you a 15% discount as well because you're you know, buying in bulk. So, yeah, you're welcome. Um, and then I think that's everything. Just, I mean, any, any issues, just give me a call. But I'm sure you'll be making amazing music soon. Cool. It's been really fun talking to you. Yeah, cool. Nice to meet you. Okay, so have a good day. Cheers.